Hey there guys, The Network Berg here, hope you've been doing well. So in this video, we will actually be looking at why Microtech is such a solid choice to learn about computer networking. Now, I personally love Microtech, even though it's not as big in the country where I'm currently at, but I know it is a great big network vendor, and I just want to give you guys some hints or tell you why Microtech is so good at learning networking. So let's get into the video. So I think the biggest showstopper or block that people first get up to when they try and get into networking is it can get crazy expensive. Depending on the vendor that you're wanting to learn about, if you're going to be buying physical lab equipment just to be studying with, then you can look at hundreds if not thousands of dollars worth of equipment just to get that base understanding and foundational knowledge of things. Now with Marketic, things are a lot cheaper. If you look at some of the competitors and what features they provide, if you compare it to Microtik, some of the devices comes down to a tenth of the cost, which is really, really so cheap. And it just allows you to buy these physical pieces of equipment without much worry. And the nice thing is you can even use this lab equipment in your home life when you start to get a better feel for it and you start to enjoy it a bit more. Another big reason is that, or what I'd suggest using Microtik is you can actually get the Router OS virtual images, namely a CHR or an x86 image, and spin it up on a virtual machine free of charge. Microtik is not going to charge you any licensing fees. You don't need to be some type of vendor partner. With many of the bigger vendors, that tends to be the case. You either need to be some type of support partner for them, or you might have to sign up to some learning program, which can also cost hundreds of dollars just to get access to virtual labs and images. And with Microtik, that's not the case. You can literally just pull the images off their website, load it on a virtual machine, as I've showcased many times on many of my other videos. And you guys are more than welcome to look at those videos and see how to import a CHR or an x86 on your own virtualization platform. And then you can just get to learning. So Microtik just makes it so cheap and easy to learn networking. So that's the first big thing. Now I mentioned that Marketic is feature-wise comparable to the other big vendors, but which features are that actually? What is the type of networking technologies that you can actually learn using Marketic? And I'm going to say this out from the beginning. You can learn anything on any Marketic. There is no limitation. You don't need some bigger internet gateway router that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn any of these technologies that Marketic provide you with. The smallest little HAP, like the house access point device to the biggest cloud core router that you can buy, they all have the pretty much the same feature sets, bearing that the new equipment might have some new technologies available to them like zero tier, but it's not a big difference. The operating system itself, which is router S that loads on all of the devices, it works exactly the same across the board. And you have access to tons of features lots of layer two technologies. You will learn a lot about switching. You'll learn stuff like VXLAN to span layer two services across the network. You'll learn stuff like VPLS, which does the same thing as VXLAN really, but it just works on top of MPLS. And that's another big word, MPLS, that layer 2.5 protocol, which was a big thing in the ISP space for a very long time before SD-WAN became a thing. MPLS is there. You'll learn about IP addressing. You'll learn about dynamic routing protocols like BGP, OSPF, they even have RIP, even though that's pretty much some legacy routing protocol these days, very few people use RIP, but you've got the big routing protocols to work with as well. You've got firewall rules to learn about. Microtech has a ton of different things that you can do with the firewall on it. They've even got some nice advanced features on the firewall, namely stuff like mangle rules, where you can apply stuff like packet markings that you can also use in quality of service. Now, I know that it looks like I'm throwing a bunch of big words at you and I don't want it to sound scary, but I just want you to understand that Microtech is very feature rich. My God, you're rich. <laughs> it's the poor man's networking equipment, but it's good networking equipment. There's so much power inside each and every little Microtech and there's so much potential of what you can do with it. And that really just broadens your general knowledge of how a network functions and works and it's good to be dealing with all of these features and it's so nice that you can just learn about them all on this not the 
most expensive equipment or even for free on virtual equipment. Now, another thing that really makes Marketix stand out quite a bit is just how versatile and flexible it is in general for the whole market. You will find people do so much complex and amazing things with Marketix. I've read somewhere on one of the Marketix newsletters about somebody that created a rocket with the Marketix. I've seen stuff like Marketix robots. I've seen somebody use Marketix scripting to triangulate where somebody's location might be based off of MAC addresses that's being learned across a wireless network. I've seen people install Marketic in stuff like their speed systems, you know, on the road where they monitor the speeds and the Marketic would then collect the data as well and send it over the network to where it needs to go. I've personally seen stuff like Marketic devices being installed inside vehicles in order to also track them because you can enable stuff like GPS and a Marketic with an LTE enabled on it can very easily and quickly allow you to do things like that. So Marketic is definitely very, very flexible and you can use it for just about anything. There's people that build whole ISP or WISP wireless ISP networks based off of just Marketic infrastructure. I personally managed a network that, that has its core equipment uh, based off of Microtech, a bunch of cloud core routers that were just servicing customers and providing MPLS to everybody. And that really was such a big learning experience for me as well, just to see how versatile Microtech is. Because they don't just have one little, mo there's tons of models that can also do different things. Like I just mentioned, there's devices where you can put LTE or it has dual SIM functionality ba baked into it. Um, you have also specialized switches, you have specialized access points, like the list just goes on and on. Marketing just has everything for everyone that you can think of. So that is really so cool. Now, this next point I'm going to make might be debatable to some people because a lot of people tend to say Marketing has a steep learning curve. And I will agree, there are some nuances when it comes to using Router OS or Marketing in general. However, I do feel like for a new beginner, for somebody that's just coming from school or somebody that just wants to learn about networking, it's a fantastic place to start. Because many times people, if you jump into, let's say an alternative vendor, a bigger vendor like Cisco or Juniper, their stuff is powerful, but you'll mostly be learning it through some complex GUI that also has its own licensing and stuff involved with it. Or for the most part, people use the command line interface to access these devices and work with them. Now, personally, I love working with the CLI. I think it's a great place to be doing your configurations and debugging. With Marketic, you can also do it through the CLI. But what makes Marketic very different and which also just eases you into the process as a new user is its Winbox tool. Now, some people think it's dated, some people think it's great. I personally, I'm in the middle of it, but I do see, see the potential with Winbox where you can log into it and it gives you this whole visual representation of where everything is on the system. You can learn about where your interfaces are, where the routing protocols are situated, where to configure your IP services, how to set up stuff like DHCP and all that stuff. And it gives you that whole visual representation to just ease you into it. And once you understand that command structure where everything is, then moving over to the command line actually becomes a lot less daunting because then you'll think about, hey, I want to configure IP services. I remember it was in the IP services menu. And then you just navigate to that in the CLI and you'll see it's actually a lot simpler and easier to learn it that way. So Microtech with their Winbox tool just eases you as a new user or a new learner when it comes to networking, just to give you that visual representation of where everything is on the router that you're working with. So I think that's actually awesome. And there's definitely an ease an ease of use when it comes to Microtech for me. Another thing that I think is really good for a new learner when it comes to the Microtech or networking in general world is just how welcoming the community is. Now you have different ways of reaching the community. You've obviously got the default forum or forum format that a lot of older people tend to use. However, Microtech has modernized how you can reach out to them as well as speak inside the community, namely with tools like Discord. Microtech has their own Discord server and their employees are actually very active on there as well. I have seen them engage with people. It's not there as a support channel, so it's not like you'll go on there to ask people for help for, from the Microtech support. You'll still log an official ticket for stuff like that. But it's a nice place to just get to know the people and also see what Microtech is busy with. And besides that, they actually have a very active YouTube channel as well. Microtech over the last few years, I'd say, have definitely 
become a lot better at creating YouTube videos. A lot of their old content used to just be their Microtik user meetups, which were great videos. There's a lot of information in them and a lot of useful things to go over. However, it didn't cater to a typical YouTube audience and Microtik has just over the last few years gotten really good with that. I love watching Victor's or Norman's or Druvis or anybody just come up on their channel and start talking about something. I actually watch all of their videos. I have notification bells set up for them because I enjoy watching Microtik's video and they are very active with the community. And besides that, there's also the Reddit. So Marketics Reddit is also just as active. You will definitely always find people posting there. People are helping each other out. So it's definitely not a thing where you need to feel isolated or alone. And finally, I just want to discuss how differently Marketic approaches the learning or certification process. They are actually so unique when it comes to learning and getting certification that it, I'd be silly not to bring this up. I'm sure you're aware of if you've looked at stuff like the CCNA or JNCIA or stuff like that, you do write an exam. Usually the bar is set pretty high. You need like 80% to pass. Many times you can't go back in questions and it's a lot of theory. So many times people will get a book that's maybe like a thousand or 2000 pages long. They'll attend some video courses and it takes them months to get that type of experience and their confidence to go and write the exam. Now, Microtik does this completely differently, where you will essentially be attending a boot camp that is led by a trainer. So you will be in person training over maybe a week. The maximum length I've seen for one of these training courses has been like a week. And you will just be doing hands on stuff the whole time. There is theory involved. A trainer will present some stuff off of some sheets and be explaining how all of the protocols and such works. However, most importantly is you will be physically configuring the things on a Microtik and seeing in real time how everything works. Now that is already a big game changer. It's definitely way different than what any other vendor does it as. And what I also like about the Microtik certification itself is when you do write the exam, the exam is treated in a more realistic way in an open book manner. Because if you've been in network engineering for very long, then there's many times you might have run into a complex issue and you will have to eventually do some research and development and consult vendor documentation and go through all of the information and log tickets. It's a long process, but you'll definitely be digging through a lot of stuff in order to potentially fix an issue. And Marketic treats it the same way. They allow you to go into the documentation. If you get asked some question about routing, about OSPF, about BGP, you can go on to their docs, have a look and see potentially what an issue might be and fix it that way and answer the question that way. So it definitely reflects the real world a lot better for me personally, because if I've done something like a Cisco certification and you get like a trick question where five of the answers are kind of correct, but only one of them is the real question or answer, you know, this, I don't really like stuff like that. So I really appreciate that Marketic is more realistic when it comes to their examinations, even though the bar is definitely much lower. I think you only need 60% to pass a Marketic certification. So there's definitely a lot more leeway of which type of people can get certified. I've seen many people get certification, even people that's only worked in sales, that's never worked or touched a, a network device. And they're not even into it for the network engineering side of things. They mainly just do it maybe for some discount purposes or something. But that just shows you that anybody can get into marketing. It's literally, there's the, the barrier to entry is so low and it's definitely worthwhile to get that hands-on experience. Now this is going to be where I'll end off the video because I think I've given you so many different examples of why Marketic is fantastic for anybody that's new to network engineering that wants to get into it. And I can highly recommend using Marketic if you want to learn about networking in general. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.